entrepreneur within your corporation. There's, there's even a word that gets thrown around, an intrapreneur. We all need to be more entrepreneurial thinkers. This is not a thing that you do. It's a way of being. It's a way of thinking. And it's fundamentally about adaptability and flexibility. We all know that the world of work is changing rapidly. And if you want to be successful in that, you can't just sit back and wait for orders. You can't just sit back and, and say, well, you know, that's not my job. If you're an entrepreneurial thinker, you realize that everything is your job. You're accountable, not just for doing a little task, you're accountable for results. And if you can think smarter and faster and better about how to get there, you're going to be recognized and rewarded. It's useful for a manager to think of themselves as a coach because, of course, first let's consider the alternative. You could be a manager as order giver, dictator. Nobody likes that, right? That's not how we want to be treated. But if you reconceptualize it to be a coach, that's actually the, the right kind of model because your employee does want guidance. If you were acting like, oh, you, you figure it out, you do everything, that's actually kind of disturbing and discomforting because they don't necessarily know what the strategic imperatives are that are coming from above. You're the translator of that. But the coach is the exact right model because you're not forcing someone to doing it, you're not being an autocrat, but meanwhile you're not leaving things so loose that they're just flapping in the breeze. You're providing gentle guidance and knowing that they have the, the answers within themselves, but you're steering them to better performance and smarter delivery of services and their best selves.